they had just put it on the shelf. So much so, I went online to look for it and it's not online. So I had to get it then. Listen, Linda, listen. Listen, Linda, Linda, listen. It's your Maza me, and bienvenue to a very untraditional video. C'est moi, Jessie, your resident Francophile, and here on Cappuccinos and Consignment, I focus on lifestyle, travel, and finance. See who play, take a moment to like, subscribe, and follow. Follow me over on Insta. I have a blog, and I'm posting this on TikTok. I feel like you're judging me and this is why one of my very recent vlogs went viral <laughs> and it is about why i am no longer buying luxury goods i feel like i was very specific in that video and i said luxury bags so what i did today doesn't count and truly i'm not the same woman i was when i recorded that video mere um days ago <laughs> That's the beauty of being here avec moi. We can change, you have space to grow. But here we are, we, we, yes, here we are. Ah, Patty, if you are new here, you are interested in seeing beaucoup Parisian vlogs, see vous plaît, take a moment, just watch those, it's, it, it's a vibe. So, I was minding my business, I truly was. And if you're into weekly vlogs, you'll see this on a vlog. I was minding my business and it was a force bigger than moi that, that just made me go into LV. No, truly, I was looking for um, something very small, which I ended up buying and I'll do that during my weekly vlog. But as I was wrapping up my purchases, I started walking down the stairs. I should have just taken the lift. That's what I should have did. So I don't know who needed to hear this, but don't take the steps. It's not worth it. Just take the lift. <laughs> no, get your steps in. I took the stairs down and as I was turning, this piece, when I say drew me in, it was absolutely insane. While I am always a party, it appears as though I buy a lot of luxury goods. I really don't. For the most part, my purchases are planned very well in advance. And I shared all of this during that vlog. I am not buying luxury goods in my 25 days of vlogging. I also shared how I go about doing that, saving for purses, all, all, all of those things. So I cannot remember the last time I made an impromptu purchase, but this was it and it was so, 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 so worth it. And when I saw it, I gasped, audibly gasped. And that's really not new, I'm always gasping, but this piece was amazing and this is why. And I'm gonna show you, but you have to bear avec moi with un petit story time because that's what we do here. Actually, let me prepare a single shot of espresso. Oh, d'accord, we are back. I fell in love with this piece because the art historian and why. I have a degree in art history. My first degree was also in fashion design. And once I saw this piece, it drew me in, not from a luxury, it's LV standpoint. I would have purchased this had it not had LV on it. I just so happened to have been in the store in a champagne tizzy. And I, I did it. Oddly enough, things always come full circle. Yesterday I did a sip and paint and I was chatting with my friend and I actually started going live. And as I was going live, Mazami inquired who was my favorite artist. Because I went to school for art history, I feel like there is this, I, I don't, I don't want to say pressure because it's not like people are pounding down the door. Who's your favorite? No, but in the art history field, there is this certain hierarchy of artists in fashion, in all of the things. I'm sure whatever field that you're in, there's levels to this. I love pop art. There are others, but that's what drew me into pop art. I also love graffiti. I did my dissertation on graffiti, like it's that serious. So I am all about street art and street fashion. While I may dress as if I'm having breakfast at Tiffany's, I really, really love raw art. Art in which you did not go to school to study. Like, I love that kind of art because if you have it, you have it. I'm not gonna say you can't be taught, but there's a certain innate artist in us all, and you can tell the difference between someone classically trained and someone who that's just who they are. So when I saw this piece, I said, oh, this is him. I, I didn't know anything about this guy, I am not gonna lie. I just started following him. But when I saw the piece, 
it was so raw that I had to. And I also love that. And this, I mean, I'm giving you all of the story time. This is what we do here. And if you do not like it, you may learn to like it. So just stick around. <laughs> While I was in design school, when I would have fashion shows, when I would do my photo shoots, they were always very nice Jesse dresses, but I always took the photos in train yards or abandoned buildings. That's actually trespassing. What's the statute of limitation on that? <laughs> Yikes. But I always love the contrast and theories. I love having the luxury, elegant look with a little, you know, je ne sais quoi. I mean, Look at the tresses. <laughs> when I saw this piece, it spoke to the artist in moi. And when I started learning more about Calm Delan, he's not French. <laughs> Calm Delan. <laughs> I really love this kid. And I say kid because I feel like he was like just born. I, I think he's in his early 30s or so. But this, it took me back. It took me back. I did this very ridiculous series, like what your handbag says about you. And in one of my reels, I said, if you carry this bag, you were the only black girl who could do a keg stand at your PIW. Say why? Like that was me. So when I saw this kid, this man, he reminded me of the wild white boys I went to school with and I'm here for it. I, I haven't done a keg stand in some time, but I am not above it. So when I saw that and I started learning more about him, I learned just how much we had in common. Hearing his story, when I was in high school, before I ever went, of course, to university for fashion design, I made dresses for prom, I had my mayor who recently passed, I had her roll out a butcher's sheet of paper. I laid down on the piece of paper and I had her to trace my silhouette. I didn't know about pattern making. I didn't know about those things, but I had a vision and I knew I wanted it. I need to find a prom picture. I had that raw talent and he did too. I started just really, really researching like that is my thing. I had other degrees as well, many of which required Boku research. And I started listening to interviews of like his guidance counselors, them saying how he would sell t-shirts in the cafeteria. I did that. I did not come from money and I had to make a way. My mayor did the best that she could and I would not be the woman I am today if it were not for her. But I needed, I needed additional resources. So outside of working since I was 14 years old, I used to sell t-shirts, I made prom dresses, I would paint pictures, I would paint your bedroom if you wanted it. I did all of those things to make money. And starting to just learn so much about him, it filled my heart on a very, very artistic level, but it filled my heart now that I am in a space of luxury where I can afford designer things. It truly meshed my two worlds. I do adore luxury items, but there's still that gritty rawness in me that will never go away. Being an LV and seeing what looked like graffiti on the wall, it made me so happy. Seeing this street wear, street art, just raw artists in these places that for so long we were not welcomed, It makes me happy. These are the things I didn't have. When I was in art school, I really thought that you had to look a certain way. You had to come from a certain socioeconomic status, that there were so many things that you had to have to even step foot in these places as a consumer, better yet, a designer. So seeing all of, what you're not gonna do is make me cry, okay? Cause stop. I just, I want to show you all the piece and this is not an unboxing per se, because this is just, it's joy. I'm so happy about this. And I had second guessed buying it, but the dear Sarah, she was so sweet. If you are ever at the LV in Paris, actually I think she's going back to school soon, still inquire about her so they can bring her back. She was the absolute best. When I saw that piece and I was going back and forth and I'm like FaceTiming with my dear friend who I gave my credit card to buy my Reeve Gauche. I didn't know what bag I wanted, but anyway, I'm FaceTiming with her like, oh my God, look at this, look at this. This is not what I came here for. What am I going to do? When she saw it, she said it's you. It is you. And then, was that a milliwatt? What was that? Gritty. <laughs> then when I heard that that piece had just touched down, 
It is part of the fall winter collection. They had just put it on the shelf. So much so I went online to look for it and it's not online. So I had to get it then. Like the flex factor and why I had to get it then. So happy right now and I want you all to see my enthusiasm and the vintage brands I mean know how we do here. It is an office in a pouch and that is exactly what I need because je suis a businesswoman. <laughs> Okay, let's get into it. Actually, I'm going to show you some clips from LV and then we'll get into the, it's not even an unboxing. I'm, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Ciao for now. And how suiting. I don't know if he's from Brooklyn or lived in Brooklyn, but I will know because you know I'm gonna do my research. Look at this. Okay, let's open it. Let's open it. Oh. Ah. Ah. I have to remember that I dropped something under the radiator. Actually, let me get that now before I forget. Ah. I mean, come on. I feel like I'm gonna wear this out tonight. I, I feel like this deserves a night on the town. It's supposed to be for professional purposes, but everything I do is business from this point on. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I will do a review at some point. I just don't like doing reviews until I've actually used the product. Like, how am I gonna review this right now? Like, I can tell you it's stunning, but I already told you that to know how this functions, to know if it's worth, which I will never tell someone what's worth it because worth is very relative. Like, I don't think sports cars are worth it, but that's because I take the Metro. <laughs> I don't like driving. I have a car, but I just don't like driving. <sighs> that car, I am going to show you all the inside and then we, we outside. We outside. I'm gonna show you the inside, but we outside. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Gritty. <laughs> Ciao for now. Oh my goodness. Look at this beauty. Oh. That claw, we outside. Ciao for now.